Hi, my name is Andreas Nicholas. Our paper entitled Prospective Evaluation of Incobotulinum Toxin A in the Management of the Masseter Using Two Different Injection Techniques will be presented today. The study entailed evaluation of 30 female patients who underwent randomization for treatment either with a single injection or a multiple injection technique to treat masseteric hypertrophy. The patients were followed for approximately 20 weeks for safety and efficacy. So again, using chlorhexidine to clean the skin, if we are going to do the one injection technique, what we will do is again palpate, contract the maximum point, and we'll actually we'll go in and inject 40 units, slow injection, directly into the maximum protrusion, another 20 units. We have diluted one cc of saline. So on this particular side, again, we'll ask the patient to contract. And you can see she's got a larger masseter on this side. Again, there's an anterior inferior protrusion, which is anatomically correct. We will put eight units in five distinct locations, beginning with the center, eight units, and then circumferentially, one centimeter away from our original injection site in order to create the remaining treatment. Eight units, eight units. Eight units, eight units, eight units. Keeping in mind again that we preserve the one centimeter border from our margins for safety reasons. With respect to safety, the results demonstrated that there were no moderate or severe adverse events in either of the two cohorts. Furthermore, the adverse events were all minor in nature, self-limited to within seven days of treatment, and included things like bruising and redness. With respect to efficacy measures, we found that there were three different efficacy measures taken, and the results demonstrated that the GUI scale was similar between cohorts over the period of the study while evaluated by a physician using two-dimensional and three-dimensional imagery. The second outcome were the objective measurements for masseteric hypertrophy, which also did not demonstrate any difference between the two cohorts. Both one injection and five injections yield the same aesthetic results. The third measure of outcomes were patient satisfaction. There was again no difference in patient satisfaction rates between the two cohorts and there were actually no patients dissatisfied with their treatments over the treatment period. The conclusion of our clinical trial demonstrates that relevant knowledge of the anatomy leads to safe injection techniques. Whether you use a single injection technique or a multiple injection technique, the outcomes are similar. The most important point of all of this is understanding the limitations of where to place the neuromodulator and to avoid unwanted adverse events.